Hey fellas, it's 265 Chevy here. Today is August 16th. Okay. This is done. The wall's been painted. It's all been trimmed out. All the metal's painted. Everything's been uh, cut in and and uh, done. Came out pretty good, but I have to admit, it's a lot of work. Real, real hot. Let's see. Let's see if y'all can uh, see that right there. How hot it is in the garage. Like that every day. Every day is like that. Some days even hotter. So, yeah, it's kicking my butt. But let me, uh, this actually was finished the other night. And I went and sprayed paint all these in the black up there. And of course, I taped it and, you know, try to, you know, uh, you know, put a big, pretty big area, so you know, overspray wouldn't go, so it wouldn't go in the white, right? Well, that didn't work. I guess by having the doors open, trying to have the fans on, that even those, you know, eight thirty, nine o'clock at night, the, I guess the wind was blowing. I, I didn't really feel any wind, but I guess it was. So what happened? Overspray went where the paper wasn't, of course. So I learned a big lesson that if you really don't want nothing on whatever you finished, you have to cover it all. Because for whatever reason, paint will find the little missing spot. It always does. You know, and I know that. I mean, I've been a painter for 20 years. You know, but I haven't, you know, it's not what I do anymore. But that's what I used to do. I used to be a house painter a long time ago. Uh, in my teenage days. After, you know. But uh, many different. I've done many different things. But um, I was going to leave it. I, I just couldn't do it, fellas. I mean, it bothered me. So today, I just kind of, you know, take the bottom. Put, you know, towels down taped over each individual one and you know I knew this would touch up pretty easily so I went and go ahead and grabbed the roller and just kind of rolled the sections and cover up all the overspray I just couldn't leave it I mean my OCD just wouldn't let me do it <laughs> I, I wanted to walk away because I didn't feel like fooling with this anymore but uh and you know, and now, now it's done. And the only thing I gotta go do now is just go clean the brushes and uh, the brush and the roller again, and uh, do my same routine. Pick everything up from this part of the project, put it all away, clean up, and the rest of the day I'm gonna cut some saw horses because I'm gonna build three saw horses. I'm gonna pretty much build the same table that I'm building here. And I'm going to put it inside the apartment, my mom's apartment. And because um, uh, I'm going to need a table in there eventually. But that's where I'm going to uh, solder all the, the piping and stuff. Because it's got air conditioning in there and stuff. So I'm going to try to work a little smarter. And, then, uh, and I'm still looking to put some of the piping here and some of the piping there. And get my 50 60 feet of piping here and move the compressor over okay but here's a question for you guys i'm sorry if i move around too much uh here's a question for you guys if y'all don't mind trying to help me out with this uh i do know if i go all three quarters it'll be a lot less expensive you know but i did see that one video that he broke off from one quarter three quarter then he went to one inch, back down three quarter, went to one inch, 
back down three quarter to one inch back down three quarter until he got into his size that he wanted then he went three quarters of the rest of the way then half inch and then he finished it up that way I don't know if that's the better way you know what he says well, it, on a YouTube video is that it creates more volume and it creates more uh, area for the water to leave the air you know I don't know if three quarters all the way you know because everything's be the same all the fittings of course one inch fittings are a little bit more expensive than three quarter inch fittings we might be talking a buck or two but if you're buying 10 or 15 fittings it, it adds up so my question to you guys before I go buy any of this stuff and hopefully that whoever does watch this video make a comment either way of what you think and I'll get a consensus you know um, you know um, so I, I really would appreciate the input because I really don't know which way to go um, I don't mind going at the inch or whatever spending a little bit more because I'm definitely spending a lot more than what I thought I was going to spend by doing all this crap but um but in the long term, you know, it'll be better for the shop or for the garage. And, um, not, you know, if I'm going to do it, I want to do it right. And I want to do it to the best, the best that it can be done, you know. But I don't want to overkill it, you know. Um, this is probably a little overkill. Most people just probably left it wood and rock and roll with that. But I take, you know, uh, to be honest, I mean... One of the people that I watch, Wild Eye and Arden Boy. I mean, I just love how his shops look. He takes the time, the effort, his creativity to put in everything he does. And, you know, and Greg Porter, you know, he's another one. With that brick wall, I don't know if y'all have seen that. With that brick wall that he did just to enhance his shop. To give, to give him the feeling when he's working in the shop, that's the way he wants to be. And I feel like that with even though you know this is really what I want to be working on my cars but this is important to me too because I, I you know I want to feel when I walk in wow you know that looks good you know I like that or when other people walk in I mean I have people that came up even though I think it's messy right now it's definitely messy but when, when they came in they were just amazed how organized the damn garage was and I just took that for granted truthfully but um and I, I, you know, I told myself, well, this is not really organized at all. But, uh, you know, not, not for what I enhance in my head. But, um, you know, you're only one person. You only got so much time on this earth. And you got so many projects. And you got to pick and choose what you're going to do. You know, of course, I'm doing this project to actually do my wife's bumper. You know, but later on... I'll look at it that I'll be able to paint things that I want to paint or uh, when I get older you know more in my retirement days artistic stuff that you know hobbies or uh, different things that I see that I would like to try and I have the equipment to do it you know and, and so it's it's not only for today it's also for the future so I mean that's the way I look at things money spent today this is this project will cost a lot more 10 years from now so um, if you got the if you got the ability and you got you got the drive, you might as well go ahead and do it. So if you don't mind, fellas, whoever watches this video, please give me the, the what y'all think. You know, do you think it's a better idea to go to one inch than go down? It, the only only time it goes one inch up is you come off the you come off the tank and it goes into a one inch pipe coming up. Then it comes over. It goes through a one-inch pipe coming up, then it comes over, then when it goes back down, you got to look at it like a radiator. When it comes back down, it's three-quarter. And then when you go back over, you switch back over to one inch and you come back up. Then you switch back over and it comes back down. So I guess, um, you know, I, I, you know, I guess you got more volume in that one-inch pipe. Plus, that, that would work too. I mean... Using a one-inch pipe actually gives you more volume in the air lines because you got a lot more air that's available, you know, um, 
out of a one inch line than a three quarter inch line but does over here when I put my I mean, the velvet uh, desk and filter and all that back in it's definitely going to go down to a half inch line because that's what all that is and then when I shoot my stuff it'll be out of a half inch line or three eighths inch line my air hose so I hope y'all like this project I hope it kind of gives y'all an idea that you don't need to build a wall wall you know you can actually <clears throat> you know I mean it is uh, it's it's sturdy it ain't going nowhere you know um, and then another thing I thought about too is uh, security you know I never thought about that somebody else uh, a friend of mine told me well actually you added some security to your building because you know I mean probably the easy way to get into these buildings is cut through the walls you know so uh, kind of gives you a layer of security too so now if you cut through the walls you gotta you gotta bust through uh, plywood which you know you know nowadays nothing's safe I mean the way the world is you know I mean they'll rob you blind before you even know it so which is terrible but it's just how it is but um Hope y'all enjoyed it. It's been a lot of work. I've been sweating a lot. But <laughs> I ain't losing no weight, fellas. I'm sweating all the sweat and I ain't really losing any weight. Went to the doctor, I lost three pounds. I guess three is better than anything, nothing. But, um, oh, and one more other thing. And I hate to say it because I'm a Chevy guy, but this color is called Pinto White. That's what this color is. And it is a stain. It's a water stain. And it's called Pinto White. So I guess I got a I guess I got a little Ford in me here. But uh it's uh it, it comes from Home Depot. It's a waterproof stain and sealer. And um I was gonna go an extra step. Uh I went to um Sherman Williams. And I was gonna buy this like a clear. Um, it's a coating, it's a clear, and it, it's water-based too. And I was gonna put it on top of this, so you could wipe it down and everything. They wanted forty-five dollars a gallon for this stuff, and like I said, I'm pumping more money into this thing than I really wanted to. I didn't even buy the copper pipe yet, so because uh, I had to buy all the sheets. I didn't think I had to do that, but. All the sheets I have is different sizes, so that wouldn't have worked. And it's probably better to start off with brand new material anyway if you're going to do something like this. And then I had to go buy all the metal and cut all that and and all some screws and whatever else was involved, drill bits, you know, uh, you know, stuff like that. So I mean, it adds up. And um, so I talked to my wife. Because she's usually the one that has the sensible, you know, uh, she always likes to save. And then I came up with, you know, if you look up there, when's the last time I went up there? Or when's the last time y'all grabbed y'all rags with some soap and water and clean y'all, uh, y'all building? So after it's all put together and everything's back in its place with stuff in front of it, how often I'm gonna clean it so I mean it would be a, it probably would be a good idea to do if I'm gonna come over here and wipe it down and clean it every now and then but that's probably not gonna happen fellas because I got so much other shit it's probably be so low on the list it'll probably never happen so I blew it off I'm gonna save the $45 and another because that's actually well now it's three coats of paint before it was two coats of stain now it's three well, two and a half, because really I didn't paint the whole thing. I just kind of uh, rolled over it real quick and just made it real white again. But um, so uh, I blew that part of it off, you know. But all in all, it came out good. It looks good. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> I'm very happy with it. And uh, we'll get on this, put that back up there to, you know, probably touch it up. We got some spray paint, just paint it, spray paint it real quick. Let's give it a little quick coat. 
and uh, put up all the, the valve stuff, hook up the, the plumbing, and then um, hook it all up, and then I'll be able to get over to uh, this bumper, and then I can put this bumper on back on my wife's car, and uh, and uh, put her car back together, and so she'll be 100% uh, done. And then, uh, and then there, I start on the upstairs bathroom and downstairs. And then, in the meantime, too, I think I'm going to throw the, uh, the top part of the motor because I got this sandblasted and painted. Uh, this one over here cracked, if y'all remember those videos a long time ago. I cracked this one. So, uh, put that one back on, adjust the valves, and uh, continue... Um, putting the front part of the motor just to get it running um, I like to hear it run and uh, go from there you know a couple hours maybe here and there and it, it, it you know it should I mean I got a lot of stuff done to that car that just needs to be put on so a little hour here and there I mean it should go back together pretty good you know maybe throw the front cap on it or whatever don't paint it or whatever but the car could be moved and drove so we'll see where all that goes but I'm always thinking but I don't want to make this video too long y'all have a great day I need to get back to work I'll probably you know cut what 12 legs three tops so I gotta get on that and uh, put my top on there because it's sunny and hot. But that's where I'm going to cut that at. But y'all have a great weekend, fellas. And uh, y'all take it easy. Bye-bye.